In the epoch of 2023, the colossal clash between tech titans Google and Microsoft unfolded, marking the great AI war. Microsoft's blitzkrieg left Google reeling, with GPT-4 emerging as the zeitgeist of the artificial intelligence era. The ramifications for Google were profound, as the populace, driven by necessity, turned to Bing in unprecedented numbers. The war, however, was far from its zenith, and on December 7, 2023, Google unleashed its highly anticipated Gemini model, positioned to outshine GPT-4 across nearly every benchmark. The genesis of Gemini into the public realm occurred earlier in the year at Google I.O., where Sundar Pichai expounded on the intricacies of Google's approach to AI. The ethos was clear, applying AI to create AI, subjected to rigorous testing with an unprecedented amalgamation of multimodal capabilities. Gemini, a large language model, poised to supplant Lambda and Palm 2, followed in the footsteps of GPT-4, boasting multimodal proficiency across text, sound, images, and video. The demonstrations of Gemini's capabilities bordered on the surreal. It exhibited real-time recognition in video feeds, responding dynamically in multiple languages. From identifying hand-drawn ducks to tracking objects in a chaotic video feed of cups shuffling, Gemini showcased an unparalleled ability to connect the dots and generate responses, rendering even a five-year-old skills obsolete. Its prowess extended to generating images on the fly, akin to sable diffusion, and composing music based on prompts, transcending traditional text-to-audio paradigms to include image-to-audio transformations. Beyond its creative capacities, Gemini showcased adeptness in logic and spatial reasoning. Analyzing the aerodynamics of vehicles in images, it could predict which car would go faster, potentially revolutionizing engineering tasks. Civil engineers could envision a future where a simple photograph of a plot of land could prompt Gemini to instantly generate blueprints for a bridge, signaling a paradigm shift where software engineers were not the sole professionals rendered obsolete. The onslaught of advancements did not stop with Gemini. Google introduced AlphaCode 2, a revelation for programmers. This model surpassed 90% of competitive programmers, excelling in solving highly complex abstract problems akin to those found in Code Forces competitions. Like a seasoned programmer, AlphaCode 2 exhibited the ability to break down intricate problems into manageable components, employing techniques such as dynamic programming. While the live demonstrations and announcements painted a rosy picture, skepticism lingered. Was this a carefully orchestrated marketing ploy by Google? The unveiling of Gemini came with an array of models, tall, grande, and venti, tailored for specific use cases, from embedding in Android phones to general-purpose applications. The Ultra variant, touted as the Magnum XL of the Gemini family, stole the spotlight, promising groundbreaking performance and capabilities that captured the imagination. Users in the United States received an early opportunity to experience Gemini through the Bard chatbot, albeit limited to the Gemini Pro mid-range version. While Bard showcased significant improvements over its predecessor within the span of six months, a comparison with GPT-4 Pro revealed nuances in performance. Gemini Ultra loomed on the horizon, casting a shadow of uncertainty over GPT-4's confidence. The exchange with GPT-4 hinted at a touch of nervousness, leading to a mysterious network error before a comprehensive evaluation. Benchmark comparisons added another layer to the narrative. Gemini Pro, while underperforming GPT-4 in various situations, showcased promise. However, Gemini Ultra emerged as the triumph card, outperforming GPT-4 across nearly every category. Notably, it achieved a groundbreaking feat, surpassing human experts in massive multitask language understanding, resembling a comprehensive multiple-choice test spanning diverse subjects, reminiscent of the SATS for AI. A surprising twist unfolded in the form of that Hellswag benchmark. Designed to evaluate common-sense natural language understanding, it presented ambiguous sentences for the AI to complete. GPT-4 demonstrated a superior performance on this benchmark, leaving Gemini Ultra trailing. The ability to finish vague sentences with a human-like intuition appeared to be an area where GPT-4 retained its edge. Delving into the technical underpinnings, the training process of Gemini unfolded. Version 5 Tensor Processing Units, newly unveiled by Google, took center stage, 
deployed in superpods comprising 4096 chips each. These superpods, equipped with dedicated optical switches, facilitated rapid data transfer between pods, enabling parallel training. The dynamic reconfiguration into 3D torus topologies showcase the adaptability of the training infrastructure, resembling a technological shape-shifting act. The sheer scale of Gemini Ultra posed logistical challenges, necessitating communication between multiple data centers. The training dataset, a colossal amalgamation of internet content including web pages, YouTube videos, scientific papers, and books, underwent rigorous filtration for quality. Reinforcement learning, guided by human feedback, fine-tuned the model to enhance quality and mitigate the risk of hallucinations. However, amid the technological marvels and promises, a note of caution was sounded. The Nano and Pro models of Gemini were slated for availability on Google Cloud from December 13, offering a tangible taste of the technology. However, the Gemini Ultra Pro Max, the pinnacle of the Gemini family, awaited release until the following year. Additional safety tests were cited as the reason, with the benchmark of achieving 100% on this hell woke, benchmark serving as the litmus test for its readiness. In conclusion, the code report unveiled the intricacies of Google's countermove in the great AI war. Gemini, with its multimodal prowess, promised to redefine the landscape of artificial intelligence. However, amidst the grand promises, the cautionary note highlighted the complexity and challenges that accompany such cutting-edge advancements. As the tech saga continued to unfold, the audience was left to ponder the transformative potential and the implications of the next frontier in AI.